Medical costs are fast becoming one of the biggest expenses for families all over Indiana. Well, now there's a new way to discover whether you're at risk for a number of serious health problems. It starts with your own DNA and can set you on a path of knowing your future while you still have time to do something about it. Sue Cotter spends part of almost every day playing games online. It's the hand and eye coordination and um, the mental stimulation. She's playing the hand she was dealt a decade ago, a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. Along with caring for herself, she turned to DNA testing to find out the possible impact on her five children. I was worried about the genetics of Parkinson's. Sue signed up with a company called 23andMe, named after the 23 pair of chromosomes each of us carry. Researchers take a DNA sample and map your personal genome. They can tell you your odds of developing thousands of diseases, cancers, mental health problems, Alzheimer's, even things like alcoholism and obesity. Uh, you can tell people something about their uh, risks for various diseases. You can figure out if they carry variants that might impact the health of their children. Scientists say knowing that information would be great. I mean, this is whiz-bang science. It's very exciting. But some say science isn't advanced enough right now to give you a good picture of your medical future. Genetic counselor Kimberly Quaid of IU Health says the DNA database is in its infancy. I think that this is where health care is going to be at some point in the future, but I don't think we're there yet. It got me wondering about what my DNA would reveal about me. Would I be susceptible to my mother's pancreatic cancer or my dad's adult onset diabetes? I sent a sample of my own DNA to 23andMe by filling a test tube with saliva. You have a uh, you know, slightly elevated risk for uh, psoriasis, a skin disease. It shows I have a lower than average risk of getting Alzheimer's a resistance to several common viruses, and a low risk for diabetes. But I do have to watch out for other things. Glaucoma shows up in your profile as well, a slightly elevated risk there. Which brings us back to Sue Cotter. It turns out that her children are not at a greater risk for Parkinson's, but genetically, they do have an elevated risk for several kinds of cancer. If you're predisposed to something, you can watch for it. And maybe you can change your diet, and something as simple as that can make a big difference in your health. A DNA test like this can be especially helpful to people who don't know much about their family's health history. Maybe you were adopted, or maybe your parents just never shared much information. There are several companies out there that will take your information and interpret it for you. The 23andMe DNA test also tracks your ancestry lines, your family tree. And that's something else I wanted to share with you, too. I had a few surprises there. My mother's ancient relatives lived all over Europe. My father's, though, came from a very distinct region of the continent. Now, through my father, that's me there, second in line, I'm related to President John Adams, his son John Quincy Adams, also former Presidents Franklin Pierce and James Buchanan. And the DNA that I got from my mother matches that of the notorious outlaw Jesse James. How about that, huh? I put a link to 23andMe on our website, WTHR.com. You can find it under Hot Topics. Yeah, how about that? How did you feel when you found out about Jesse James? I thought that was kind of cool, guy. actually. You got a bad guy. You know, it's been a long time ago. I don't, I don't know Jesse. Right, right, right. I don't right, claim right, Jesse. Right, right. But, but, you know, four presidents. Yeah, see, I know. That's pretty special. You have to start treating you a little more uh, <laughs> dignity now. Yeah, sure. I guess so. Yeah. But you got a little swagger with the Jesse James thing going like on that. in your DNA. That's right. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with Jesse you. Jesse James is in my background. That's right.